and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and here's an unexpected nice surprise, Unity 6 Preview is now available. I was waiting for this one for one specific reason, I'll mention what that is in a little bit, but before that, apologies for my voice, I've been sick all week which is pretty annoying, I was planning to record a bunch of videos and do a live stream, but I couldn't do any of that, and in this video I also finally wanted to try out some of these new features, but in order to not mess up my throat too much, this is just going to be a quick news video. Anyways, like I said, Unity 6 Preview is out right now. I thought this was still months away, so this is awesome. The reason why I was looking forward to this version is because, in terms of features, this has everything inside of Unity 6. They talked about their new naming scheme a while ago. Now they have beta, preview, and then full release. So beta is normally, naturally, quite unstable. So normally, personally, I don't touch the beta versions unless I want to explore some specific feature. Then there's preview, which is what we have right now. This one is considered mostly stable and contains all the features that will be in the final version. And finally, the full LTS version. This one is usually the one you should be using for your final games. I'm guessing this one will be out around September. That's when they have their Unite conference, and I'm guessing the version will be out by then. So anyways, preview, which is out right now, means it has all those features. So that means all those really awesome graphics features, like the GPU rest and drawer. Literally just toggle a checkbox and everything runs much faster. Then it's also got GPU occlusion culling. This one uses the GPU in order to be able to render much fewer things. You've got spatial and temporal post-processing. This is sort of their upscaler, which makes the game run much faster at a lower frame rate without any visual difference. Then you've got the render graph viewer to be able to see exactly how your frame is being rendered. You've got foveate rendering if you're making some kind of VR application. You can now much more easily make custom post-processing effects and even work directly with the volume framework. You can finally try out Adaptive Pro Volumes. This is one of the main ones that I'm really looking for. It lets you do some really gorgeous natural global illumination. You can generate some really gorgeous lighting and then easily swap between them. For HDRP, you've got some really gorgeous atmospheric scattering. That water system is also continually getting a bunch of improvements. There's some very useful new VFX graph tools. Shared graph also gets some nice interesting things. You can now easily create some build profiles, make mobile games that run on the web, and a ton more things, including a bunch of multiplayer tools, like multiplayer play mode. This one I think is going to be super useful. Then you've got the distributed authority, more improvements for Netcode for entities, that KD server, and a bunch more. So with all of this, Unity 6 does look like one of the biggest jumps in versions. You know, specifically waiting for this version for one very specific thing. For a long time now, people have been asking me to do a complete step-by-step -step dots course, and I was waiting for this version before I started researching that. Since that course is on dots, I want to use the latest version possible, so I will be using the latest dots version and the Unity 6 preview version. Hopefully that means the course will stay up to date for a really nice long time. I've started doing some research, I've been playing They Are Billions, great game. The design that I'm going for will be similar to that, meaning RTS with lots of units and city builder and defense elements. Like I said, I'm still in the very early stages of planning, but I have set up a page where you can sign up with your email and I'll let you know when it's ready. So if you want to learn how to use dots in a complete project as a guided step-by-step -step course, then check out the link in the description to sign up. That's my personal reason for waiting for this specific Unity version, but like I said, Unity 6 is a pretty massive update. They've been talking about these features for quite a while now. They mentioned them last year at Unite and a few months ago at GDC. So if you're a regular on my channel, then this will all be mostly familiar to you. The main difference is now that really just the fact that the preview version is out. So if you, like me, also don't normally touch the beta versions, then now is the time to finally explore all of these nice new features. If you're working on a project and you're going to release it in the next few months, then keep using whatever version you're using, likely the 22 LTS version. That's the main version that I've been using in pretty much all my projects for about a year now. But if you're at least six months away from release, or if you, like me, want to explore these new features, then now is a great time to install Unity 6 and try it out. I've already installed it myself, this is going to be my main version that I'm going to use going forward. I'm definitely curious to explore all these new features, especially seeing just how big a difference it actually is to enable all of these graphical checkboxes. So definitely stay tuned for some videos covering that. And if you're interested in learning how to make a complete game using Unity Dots, then check the link and sign up. I'm hard at work researching and planning for that course, and I'm really excited to finally use Dots in a nice complete project. All right, so I'm gonna go try to rest a bit now. I hope you've been having a better week than me. Hopefully I'll be back to normal tomorrow to be able to do the normal private member live streams. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.